Hey everyone, um, I'm back, and this is going to be my solution for speeding ticket bronze problem, uh, December 2015. So basically, uh, in this problem, we have we're given uh, two integers, which are the length of n and m, as you can see here, and basically n and m are the speed limits that are put on the highway. So, for example, this is 3, so these 3 are n, and these 3 are m. And what? so the first value in each um, term, so this is going to be the length of the road, and each road is uh, 100 length, and units long. And what this 40 is, is the length, and this is the speed limit for that specific length. So these are all segments. So there's three segments in this highway and three segments in Bessie's journey. And you want to see if Bessie's journey, how, what's the maximum amount that she went over the speed limit? Uh, so, for, so for this example, what it is is 5 because she went over the speed limit, which is over here. And actually, for over here, she went over it. And basically, you want to find the maximum amount. So the way we can find this is by creating a list of both values and check if the current value is greater than, and if it is, we will add. And it's, if it's greater than the least value, so we will add that to the, and we'll set that the greatest value to that, and if there's anything greater, we'll add it to that. So I'll just show you the code. Um, basically, what you want to do, read in the input. Um, I'll just make it easier. So we have it right here. So we have our files, and we have our in, uh, variables n and m, which are going to be on the same line. So we can just uh, put them in the same list, assign, and unpack them like this, in this syntax form. And basically we want our lists of all of the speeds, so speed limit, so these are going to be the limits, it are going to be, we're going to do a list comprehension here, list, happened input, and which we split, and uh, this is going to be a uh, list comprehension, so for i in range of n. This is going to be our first, so there's a speed limit, which is n. And we have a Bessie speeds. So, and it's going to be the same thing, so let's just copy and paste this. Except this is going to be m. And we have our total, of course. And we have the um, list of all the speeds, so which is going to be which is what we're going to use to compare both of them. So the list of speeds and the list of Bessie speeds. So we're going to iterate through for our i in speed limits. And we're just going to add uh, our to these variables what um, the entire uh, set of, like the entire sort of highway that they're on, so we can compare them earlier, later on. So for j in range. So this is going to be the since this is the first one, this is the length, so we're going to have j um, numbers of the speeds, the speed limit, and we're just going to add the speed limit for I, uh, that. So basically we're going to do this two times, f for each for um, one of each, for uh, each uh, list here. So list Bessie, we're going to add this too. And everything stays the same. Now we just need our final for loop, which is going to be uh, iterating through 100 because that's the length of the road or highway. And basically, we're going to compare these two lists that we declared earlier. So if the list of Bessie, we're just going to compare them like so. So if it's greater than the speed limit, so it goes over the speed limit, and it's also greater than the total. So basically, if the uh, difference is greater than the total, 
Oh, sorry. This speeds of i is greater than the total. Uh, and this needs to be negative. I mean, actually, no, never mind. Though. Okay, so if the difference is also greater than the total, um, the total is going to be the new total is going to be uh, that di that difference. So we just need to finish this here, and now we just need to print our new total. So as you can see, we have our uh, all of our inputs here. And if we run this program, uh, it's going to return 5. Which should be getting there. Um, let's see what I did wrong here. Ah, this is wrong. Uh, it needs to be Bessie's speed. So if you run this again, um, What is going on here? Um, let's just do this, and if we check, we should get five. No errors. Okay. So basically, we just need to fix that, and uh, that's the solution for this problem. It's pretty simple. These are simple solutions. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed.